Here's a video about changing the spark plugs on a 3.2 liter Chrysler Concord or it's the same engines in different cars like the Intrepid and a few others. Pretty simple, easy. One of the things that is nice about this car, they're right on top. Not much else is accessible in this vehicle, this engine. Um, I think it's the same for the 3.5 or similar and very similar for the 2.7 also. The first thing you want to do is take a small screwdriver and just lift up this tab carefully and the coil wire will come off. And then you're going to want to take a T25 torque screw and there's two screws that you'll just loosen up and I do this evenly because there's a little clip type thing on the bottom so you want to loosen them up both roughly evenly and then you just want to pull your coil out here's your coil boot Sometimes you replace these depending on how they are. These ones look good shape. Sometimes the heat will get to them. The coil down inside looks to be good. So now you want to blow this out with some compressed air. I already did that before I staged this just so that the video would go quicker. But just take a blow of compressed air, blow it out so that any debris in there won't fall into your cylinder when you take the spark plug out. Now, you'll want to use a 5 8 spark plug socket and it's quite deep in there so you're going to need some extensions. Get it on there and then crack it loose. and spin your spark plug out. It'll come out. Make sure you have a nice spark plug socket that has a magnet or a good rubber grip in there. Otherwise, you're gonna have trouble getting your spark plug out. You wanna kinda take a look at your spark plug, see what you can see. Um, you can get pictures online of various symptoms of spark plugs, if they're white, black, um, dirty, burnt, stuff like that just to check it out. It can sometimes show a little start of a prom or a full blown prom. Now, you always want to use the, um, sorry, you always want to use the OEM plugs if you can. This car happens to be a champion and on the front of the car it shows it on the little sticker right here it shows the number which is a champion number so just go to your parts store ask for it sometimes if you don't use the right plug it can lead to problems now if you want to gap them be sure you got them gapped right you can either just use a little circle gapper or one of these file gappers and you can get your spec in a book or as a parts store they usually can get you and these ones happen to be 0.048 to 0.053 and I check them they're supposed to come pre-gapped which these ones all were right on but I just like to check them now this part is a little opinionated I guess some people do it some people don't I take a little dab of anti-seize and just put it around you don't want a lot, just a little dab. Wipe off the excess. And this will prevent your spark plug from getting stuck in there. Some people say it causes problems with conductivity, but I personally believe in doing it. Now you always want to start them by hand so that you don't cross thread them. If you cross thread this, you're in a world of hurt. 
spin them down so they're part way tight and then the Chrysler factory manual says uh, 20 foot pounds of torque I don't have my 3 8 torque wrench with me right now so just snug them up you want to be very careful not to strip these out because once again you'll be in a world of hurt trying to fix the threads down there I take a little dielectric grease just put a little dollop on there stick this back in and wiggle it down so it's on good and then just spin your torque screws down to hold the coil in And the torque for that one is 60 inch pounds. So this isn't real critical as long as you don't crank down on it because if you strip these threads, it's not good. But when I have a torque wrench, I like to use it just because what I bought it for. So these ones, I happen to have my quarter inch handy. Just snug them down evenly. And then go till it clicks. And you're good. Plug your coil harness back in. And that's all done. That's all there is to it. The rest are just the same. So when you need to change your plugs, these ones are recommended for 100,000 miles. They're a platinum made by Champion. Just change them. The reason why I'm doing these is I had a check engine light come on with a Cylinder 5 Misfire P0305. So I'm going to check out the plugs on that one and see if I can see anything that would lead to that. And hopefully the check engine light went off on its own and I erased the code. Hopefully the code won't come back and we'll be good. Thanks for watching.